here in Utah for a while before moving on to a new state. And today we are headed to Antelope Island. It's a very cool island surrounded by the Great Salt Lake with lots of wildlife. I visited uh, about a month ago with my sister Jill and I felt like it was just a pretty cool place that you guys would probably want to see. Well, that is pretty cool. I'm not even at my campsite for 10 minutes and I already see a bison at the campsite directly across from me. As you can see, there are bison here on Antelope Island along with pronghorn antelope and various other wildlife. I actually saw a video uh, not too long ago where a photographer captured some video of a wolverine running across a salt flat. They think that it came down from the mountains. I don't know how it got here, but I saw the footage and it was legitimate. I would be super stoked if I saw a wolverine. Bison are not native to the island. They were introduced in 1893 and I believe their numbers have grown. This island is so cool. It's only about 30 miles uh, northeast of Salt Lake City, but it feels so far removed from the city. It is surrounded by the Great Salt Lake, and I recently found out about it. I don't know that a lot of people outside of Utah know about it. So yeah, I'm really stoked to be here. <laughs> it is about 5 p.m. I do have this campsite reserved for two nights. So tonight I'm just gonna settle in and relax. I do have a video to edit, my last video, and then tomorrow will be for exploring. I am excited to get up early and uh, check out the wildlife here on this island and show it to you. It's really, really beautiful. You can see the snow-capped mountains out there. It's pretty awesome. So with that, I will uh, See you all in the morning. Good night. Bighorn and bison and all before breakfast and coffee. Absolutely amazing. I'm so stoked. I stepped outside just to get some early morning shots, uh, some B-roll type footage, and there they were. Just incredible. Today we are going to go on a safari of sorts and see what other wildlife we can find. I will be breaking out the big guns and using my Canon 100 to 400 lens. I have a Sigma adapter which allows me to use it on my Sony a6400 camera so I'll probably be shooting mostly with this today there are gnats biting gnats here on the island and they warn you pretty heavily about them and also all of the reviews I've read recent reviews on the all trails app regarding the trails around here say that people are absolutely attacked by these biting gnats 
So I'm not sure that we'll do any hiking today, but possibly. We'll see. We'll see what they... Uh, what the situation is. Word on the street is that bug spray does not work against these biting gnats and the ranger even told me that. They have a sign posted at the entrance of the park that says you will not be issued a refund due to bugs. They warn you pretty heavily that uh, you're going to experience that. So far I haven't. Knock on wood. I hope I don't just jinx myself. <laughs> Anyhow, let's get to exploring and we'll come back to camp later on this evening where I have a nice dinner planned, some steaks. island is truly amazing. It's like a little slice of Yellowstone right here in Utah. I'm making a quick pit stop here on the roadside at a turnout to make myself a quick lunch. It is quite warm today. It is going to be in the low 90s both today and tomorrow. I can tell that the bugs are out today. Every time I stop my vehicle and pop out, they are all over the truck. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't really have to worry about it when I got here yesterday because there was a nice breeze going and the breeze kept them at bay. But today, there is no breeze, so they are out. Anyhow, yeah, I'm going to have myself a little bite to eat and then we'll get back on the road. I'm having a nice sandwich with some pistachios and an absolutely gorgeous view. That bugger wants to come in and bite me. Trying to find his way in. He sees me from the outside in. of some kind and I'm guessing it was a coyote because I don't think that they have wolves on this island. I didn't capture it on film unfortunately because it disappeared into the sagebrush. Well, I consider that safari a success. I did not see a wolverine, however, but the trip is not over. I moved camps, actually. I went to the ranger station and checked to see if I could switch spots because I don't know if you noticed when I took those shots of my camp that my camper was at a slant and my 
fridge does not work very well if I'm not level. And even with my leveling blocks, I was at quite a decent slant. I moved to the spot that the bison likes to hang out at, camp number eight. So we'll see if we can be friendly neighbors if he if he comes back to hang around. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't decide to rub up against the camper because he seems to like to rub up against all the uh, picnic furniture out there. There are a massive number of bison on this island. It reminds me of Catalina Island uh, off the coast of California. Catalina Island also has bison. They were brought there for a film years and years ago and were left on the island and now they've multiplied. I can definitely tell you they are thriving here today. I am just going to relax for a bit and then get dinner going in a little while. Here is a map of the island. If you're curious, you come in on this causeway here and I am camped right here at this campground, Bridger Bay. Have this cool little Yuko flat pack portable uh, barbecue and it also doubles as a fire pit. It was given to me by my friend Diane. Thank you, Diane. On one hand, I'm thankful for the wind for keeping the bugs at bay, but it was difficult to get those coals lit. I'm keeping my eye out behind me because uh, the sagebrush is where I saw that bison bed down earlier. I think this is his home. He probably doesn't like it too much that I'm here. <laughs> Look at these beauties, bacon wrapped steak. And to go along with my steak, I'm just gonna make some sauteed veggies. Looks good to me. And yes, I cut into it to make sure it was done. I like my steak well done. And I like a little A1 on my steak as well. And I'm not sponsored. <laughs> Dining El Fresco tonight. It is a little breezy, but it's keeping the bugs away, so it's perfect with me. I do see a few flying around. Hopefully they'll stay away from me while I enjoy this beautiful dinner. There's my neighbor. He uh, might take over camp while I'm gone. I'm going on a short drive going for a little after dinner drive. It looked like there was a view to the other side of the island, so I'm gonna go check that out. What a beautiful, peaceful evening. I am just waiting on sunset. It looks like it has a potential to be an amazing one tonight. I've got deer behind me. I've got my neighbor bison in front of me. This place is incredible. It isn't always this bad with bugs. I am here at the height of bug season. If I would have gotten here a little earlier in the season, I wouldn't have had a problem. There are lots of hiking trails. Uh, I think I'll come back when uh, it's not bug season and do some hiking here. I think I am going to go ahead and call it a trip. I will be leaving in the morning. Um, this is the, my last trip in Utah for a while. I don't think I'll be back until probably the fall, but I will be on to a new state. The mountains are calling, I will just say that. <laughs> 
Anyhow, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you coming along and I'll be sure to show you the sunset if it pans out the way I think it will. And I will see you all on the next one. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>